What do you mean there's too many pallets and I have to sell some first? I just started my game. How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today I'm on the new map Frontier for Farming Simulator 22, and I've run into a problem. I can't buy any more pallets. Now, I know I've got a bunch here in front of me, but that's because I'm on PC and I needed to get to the point similar to what you guys are on console. On console, you're only allowed like 200, 250 pallets, whatever it is. It's a very, very small number. And right off the bat, as soon as you load into this game, if you're trying to buy seeds or fertilizer or anything like that, you're running into the issue where you can't buy anything at all. But I've got a solution for that. And it's going to involve one of the first pieces of equipment that you own here on the map. Yes, this is the Schaefer. Um, it's a really tiny little thing that is quite nimble, but you're going to need it. Trust me, because you're going to go around and you're going to pick up a bunch of these. Yes, this right here is recyclable trash. It's a thousand liters and it weighs 1.1 ton. And you own it almost every single one of these that you see on the map. Now there's one thing that's a little bit different. Okay. You've got this one right here that actually shows recyclable trash, but then say you come over here to the other side and you see ones that look very, very, very similar. Well, there's nothing. You, you don't have any option to get these. So almost every single one of these that you're going to see around the map, you need to pick up and take to the recycling center. And if we take a look here on the map, it's going to be this building right here in the middle. Recycling Center is where you're going to need to take these two. And you are going to get some money for it, so it's not like you do this and you don't get any type of reward at all. So all you got to do is put your uh, forks on the front, or if you've got some other way to pick it up. I tried a couple different auto load options, and they were not working. It does not appear that the 82 Studio stuff uh, uses the, um, uh, the auto load. So yeah, you're going to have to be careful or you could definitely tip these things over. Uh, one thing that I recommend is getting like the big bag handler, uh, part of the CSZ pack. It's a great mod. You can attach it to the front of a lot of different pieces of equipment. Go up to it, strap your straps down, lift it up and take off. So where we're going is right over there. I'm just going to go right around here into the front and be careful not to... Uh, knock this thing over as you can see um i would definitely have some way of strapping this down a little bit better let's go ahead and actually tilt this back and then we're going to turn around here now what i'm doing is just taking it over here to the recycling center now a lot of your other productions throughout the map is going to give you some recyclable trash as well and this is probably going to be a very very similar way that you're going to have to do this so all you got to do come right here right over top of it. All right. It's going to do its thing. As you can see, we're making money up in the top right hand corner, and then it's just going to disappear because it's gone. You made $312. I'm back over here at the store now. And as you can see, I've got four single uh, containers here of fertilizer. So what I'm going to do, go into the menu. We're going to get a big bag pallet. I'm going to go right here. Solid fertilizer. Do I want to purchase it? Yes. And now I can actually put it down here on the map. So I've got a fifth one now. Let's try and do this again. I got rid of one trash container. All right, let's try and buy just one more of these. And look at that. There are too many pallets. Please sell some first. All right, so that's how you're going to do it. If you've got a problem where you can't uh, get any more pallets on your map, and that's going to affect productions too. You want to start on productions right away and have them spawn so you could actually use your auto loads or your whatever way you're going to transport those around. You've got to get rid of some of that trash. You know, don't think that these things are just going to be sitting out behind all the other buildings. These two are right out on the main road. Boom, one and two right there. So come by, pick these up. It's right by Clever Motors. I mean, they're just, they're kind of all over the place, guys. I've seen them in some construction sites. I've seen them over, I mean, just behind all kinds of different buildings. Like uh, there's one right over here, right? Let's go check it out. Let's make sure. Um, Yeah, yeah. So I mean, apparently there's like 200 or something Already on the map. I mean, there might be other, some other pallets, too, that you get to use. Um, some seeds or fertilizers. I've kind of heard about that as well. But, I mean, look at this. There's two more right here. Now, are these little bitty ones anything at all? No, the little ones, they don't have anything. I can't even pick them up. But the big ones right here, yep, you're going to need to get rid of those. So, that's five that I've showed you guys right there. Six, actually, because the one over by the recycling center. So, go around, pick them up. You're going to make your money. Looks like there might be some more right over there. So you found a bunch of the metal to melt and the recyclable trash, but you're having a hard time carrying it all around and transporting it over to where you need to sell it at? Yeah, I've got an easy way to do that. How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today I'm going to show you a couple mods that I'm going to be using here really soon to help take care of getting rid of all of this recyclable trash and your metal to melt here on the new Frontier map for Farming Simulator 22. First up, we have the Lizard XJ. This is by Ridiculous 
Dominic, this thing is really, really awesome. And it's got an unreal capacity here for an auto load. So let me go and jump in here and I'll show you what I mean. All you have to do is open up the back hatch and this thing is going to auto load 100,000 liters of product. And to set up that configuration, you need to come to vehicles and then cars over to your XJ. It's only $3,900 base price. Now you've got a standard that doesn't have any auto load at all. You can get a 10,000 liter auto load or 100,000 liter auto load. That's, that's the one you're going to want. There's a lot of these pallets or a lot of these are recyclable containers around of the map you need that big capacity next your engine setup i mean go go crazy on this thing right you could get 2250 horsepower wheel brand yeah you could make this thing look absolutely insane one of my favorites though is the michelin and then come over to here i mean this thing is a monster truck guys an absolute monster truck you can go through here customize all kinds of different things we're going to go ahead and come back here and just use the standard one right here now like i said before all you have to do is open up the back hatch by pressing the x all right if you open cover that's just going to be your hood you don't need that you need the back portion to open up right here then all you have to do is just back up to whatever you want to put in here boom there you go and it's going to go ahead and start loading as soon as it's done with that first one these are five or a thousand liters a piece i'm sorry a thousand liters a piece are what uh, the recyclable material is here and yes the metal to melt pallets are going to work in here as well a hundred thousand liters is what you have in here and each one of those is five thousand liters so you're not going to be able to fit as many of those into here but i do have another one that if you're looking for a little bit more realistic gameplay Let's go check that one out. And that's going to be this combo right here. The main star of the show is the multi-fruit container and IT runner pack. That's this module right here. And then the truck, I've got the XSIRT. Now, these are by the VSR Modding Sir. The truck is by Vanquish081. And the multi-fruit containers, this is by Raleigh Christie 1. For the semi, you're going to need to come over here to trucks, and then you're going to come across to where your trucks are. Now, if you got the XSITR, this is a regular diesel machine, or you get the XSITRME, which is actually a methane machine. So you're not going to be able to use diesel at this. You've got to be able to make sure you have a spot to be able to uh, recharge, not recharge, but replenish your methane in this vehicle right here. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one, the first one. Now, Lots of really cool options here. Like you can get all the way up to uh, 780 horsepower on this bad boy right here. So boom, there you go. Wheel brands, you've got a lot of different options here too. Uh, I'm going to go with a little bit more standard like you'd see in like the regular auto road uh, things. Design standard, you basically add beacons and that's kind of it. The different types of beacons that you want. Main color, all base game stuff. Rim color, pretty simple. And that is going to be it. We went ahead and went with the methane version right here. Now, as far as this module right here goes, it is going to be found under your tools and then trailers. Then you come across until you see your auto auto load platform right here. $8,500 base price. Whenever you come in here, you got general products or you've got honey. You need to stay on general products for this. Make your color anything you want. They've added a few extra colors here. So, I mean, this is kind of nice. If you want something a little bit obnoxious. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Whenever you get these from the store, they are going to be in two separate pieces, so you need to actually attach them. First thing you need to do is come over here to your truck, hit your L1 and hit X, and that's going to extend the arm backwards. Then what you need to do is drive over right here in front of this one, and then when that arm gets down, you're going to get a message right there that you could pick this up. So you need to attach it first, and then you need to hold L1 again and load it container, and it's going to pull it up here on top. Now, the way that this is going to work once this gets loaded up here is you, you need to pull up next to the metal. That's going to be a really, really important part of this right here. So as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and pull up right next to it right here. Boom. There you go. It's already loading in. Now, you can see that if I go over here to the other side of this, nothing's going to happen. It's, it's not actually going to do anything. The trigger for this metal pallet is right here in the middle. All right. It's not going to be on the ends. You've got to get it right here on this side. Well, hopefully this is going to help you be able to quickly get through all of the recyclable trash and all of the metal to melt right here on this map. That way you can start reducing your slot count and being able to actually get some more pallets delivered to your farm or right here at the shop, whatever the case may be. Are you playing on the new Frontier map for Farming Simulator 22, but you're having a hard time picking up all the dirt and sand? Well, I've got an easier way for you. 
And all you're going to need is one of these right here. This is the forage pickup. And yes, it's going to pick up just about anything you need. You could pick up rocks with this. You could pick up silage. You could pick up your windrows out in the field. So it's a, it's a multi-use piece of equipment here. And let me show you exactly how it's going to work. So we're going to hop in the case here that comes with the map. And all you have to do is have a three point on the front pull up next to it it's going to attach perfect now i'm going to turn on my help menu here and all you have to do is hold your l1 and hit down on the d-pad and that's going to go ahead and extend the pipe out now you're going to want to back up to your trailer i'm using one of these regular base game ones right here but as long as you've got a trailer that's going to hold bulk items it's going to be fine for you all right so we're going to go ahead and pull up right here next to what we've got going on this is the dirt and we're trying to clear a path up to this new farm that I'm maybe thinking about buying, right? So what I'm gonna do is toggle over to it. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down, and then I'm gonna hold my L1 and X to turn it on. As you can see, it's already gonna start to go. It doesn't have to be touching the ground to be able to work, all right? So as I drive forward, doesn't matter how fast I'm going, this thing is gonna pick this stuff up. Now I'm over here on the edge, it's a little bit thicker, still not having a problem, right? And you might be wondering why I think this is a good idea to have a setup like this. Well, the main reason is you can get around the map pretty easy, right? If you're on the outside of the map, of the, of the wall, then you're not going to have a problem getting around out there. Plenty of room. But inside the wall, there's some really tight, intricate little spaces that you're going to need to get to. And having this setup right here is going to allow you to get into those. So once you have all your stuff, what are you going to do with it? Well, the dirt, unfortunately, all you can really do is sell it at the construction site or the Northern Railroad, but your sand, you are gonna be able to put into the production chains at your concrete block factory. And the concrete block factory might be a little bit of a drive, but I think it's gonna be one that you wanna get. So all you're gonna to have to do is fill this up with as much dirt as you can until it tells you that it won't accept any more, and then go ahead and buy it after that because you've made all of your money selling it to this place. So let me know down in the comments if you're gonna be using this forage pickup here on this brand new map, the Frontier. Guys, there's a lot of sand and a lot of dirt to pick up. Can you get it all? Well, folks, you've got a choice. Are you going to make soy milk, soybean oil, or soy flour with your soybean crop? Let's find out which one is most profitable. How's it going, everybody? Driver 53 here. And yes, today we are taking a look at some brand new production items that you are able to make here on the Frontier map for Farming Simulator 22. Now, with soy, you can actually... Turn it into three other things instead of just selling it. Like base game, you can't do anything with soy except maybe feed it to some animals. But here in this game, in this map, you're able to turn it into some regular flour or you're able to turn it into soybean oil or into soy milk. To make the soybean flour, you're going to need to own the grain mill, which is sitting right here in the bottom kind of left-hand corner of the map. And to make your soybean oil or your soy milk, you're going to need to own the food factory, which is right here just north of the railroad crossing. Now, at both of these facilities, there are other recipes that you could do, but we are only going to be focusing on the ones for the soy bean crop today. If you guys know me, I love spreadsheets. Let's go ahead and pull this one up right here. You can see first column, I've got my input. This is going to be soybeans and pallets. This is a new thing that you're going to need here in this map. You could buy these from the store or you can make them yourself at the Palico uh, production facility. So for the Frontier Grain Mill, we're going to need soybean there are soybeans and pallets. And for the Frontier Food Factory, you're going to need soybeans, pallets, and water. So one extra item, but it should be free somewhere on the map, or you could be able to get that item pretty free from an Omatana mod. The next column I've got here, this is the average sell price. All right, so this is on normal economy, and it's the average price that you're going to see like throughout the year. This is not the peak. This is only the average, all right? This is all Giants provided information. So soybeans sells for about $1,400 per thousand liters of soybeans. Your pallets, they're worth $504 per thousand liters of pallets, and your water is absolutely zero. The next two columns here are your input cycle and your input value per cycle. So as you can see, the flour, 140 units of your soybeans is $196 worth, and two units of pallets is about $1.01. The next group down, this is for your soybean oil. You can see that two liters of your soybeans is worth about $2.80 and a half of a pallet is about 25 cents. And to the last group here, you've got soy milk. So as you can see, six units of soybeans is about $8.40. Water, it's free. And then pallets, about 25 cents once again. The next two columns here, this is your output and your average sell price. So for the Frontier Grain Mill, this is your flour once again, and it's worth about $1,026 per thousand liters. Soybean oil, $4,500 per 
thousand liters, but you also get recyclable trash with this recipe, which is worth about a dollar eighty per thousand liters. The last one down here at the bottom is your soy milk, worth about three thousand five hundred and eighty-two dollars per thousand liters, and once again, your recyclable trash is about one hundred eighty dollars. The next two columns here are your output quantity per cycle and your output value per cycle. So for the flour, each one of these recipes, you're going to get 158 liters of flour. That's worth about $162. For your soybean oil, you're only going to get one liter, and it's worth about $4.50. On your recyclable trash, two-tenths of a liter, and it's worth four cents. For your soy milk, you're going to get four liters every single recipe. That's $14.33 value, and a half liter of your recyclable trash, which is worth about nine cents. Now this next column here, this is your difference per cycle. And it's a very, very important one because what it does is it takes the value of your output cycle. So one recipe, it takes that value of everything that you can make and then subtracts how much your input was. So does it cost you more to actually make the product than it would be just to sell the product outright without doing any processing to it? Or do you make a lot of extra money by running it through one of these productions versus if you just sell it straight to a grain mill or a sell point. So as you can see right here for the flour, it's negative $34.90. Yes, for every single time that recipe runs, you're gonna lose $34.90 worth of value on that soy. That's insane, y'all. I have never had one of these that is a negative number. Never, ever have I had one of these. I don't think so. That's been a negative. And it's not just a little bit. It's $35 every single time you run that recipe. Now, for your soybean oil, you get $1.48 extra for the processing of this. That's the, the average value is $1.48 more than what it would be if you were to sell the soybeans and the pallets just by themselves. Now, for your soy milk, it's $5.77 for every single cycle. That's pretty good. I mean, $5.77 is a lot better than negative $35. The next column here, this is how many cycles you're going to have in a month. For the flour, 120. For your soybean oil, it's 2,400. And for your soy milk, it's 1,920. Your production cost per month, $24 for the flour, 60 for the soybean oil and the soy milk. Your last column here, this is your average gross profit per month. That's before you take into consideration for any harvesting, any transportation, anything like that. If you're just selling this amount of product, this is how much you're going to make. All right. So for the flour, it's negative $4,212. So if you put soybeans into the grain mill, the frontier grain mill, and you make flour out of it in one month, of it running constantly, you're going to lose $4,212 versus if you would just sell the soybeans outright. The next column here is the soybean oil. And as you can see, $3,502. It's a good little profit every single month. I mean, it's not the best one that you're going to see a lot of times, but it's not bad. You got some excess soy that you need to put somewhere. Yeah, run it over here to the, uh, the oil mill or the Frontier Food Factory. Run it as oil and uh, make you a little bit of side profit there. If you're looking to make some quick money and you've got everything else full up, it's a good option. And your best option here is gonna be soy milk running through the Frontier Food Factory. You're gonna make $11,011 on average every single month if you take your soybeans to your Frontier Food Factory and make your soy milk. I mean, that's a really good profit. That's like over three times what you can make if you did soybean oil. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to get a little bit more product through that as well. Um, it, looks like it's six in versus two in so yeah um it's a little bit light on the number of cycles compared to your soybean oil but you're gonna get actually more processed uh more soy processed every single month also so i think that's a great thing i mean for three new items that we can get here in this regular map without having to do any other mod because we know that this map is already large enough um three items you you, you want to do one of them and one of them you don't even want to touch just leave flour just let wheat barley sorghum and oats just let let that stay over there you know what i mean don't don't touch don't touch anything else don't don't make anything else in the flour just just take your soybeans turn it into soy milk you're gonna be happy you're gonna be able to sell it 
Well, everybody, I'm excited to see these new items here in the game. Hopefully you are too. I mean, I love how much detail they put into this. I mean, the soy milk, you can actually see all the little details there on the box. I mean, that is that is nice. And the soybean oil, it actually says it. I mean, I wish there was a little bit more of a picture on it, but at least it says something different. It's a different color. I mean, it's so good. Uh, flour, no, you just, just, just get out of here. Get out of here. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for today. If you learned something or enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my testing tips and tricks videos here in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.